Looks like Mistral AI is back again with the new model, introducing Mistral AX 22B. This is possibly the most largest open source large language model that is out there. There's eight mixture of experts components with a 22 billion parameter model, equaling to a model likely to have around 176 billion parameters. And to be a little bit more precise, it's roughly to have 140.5 billion parameters, assuming there is a 16 bit precision. Now, this is an extremely large model and would be tough for the average consumer grade PC to run. Now, on their channel or their Twitter, they basically announced that there's this new Mistral AI model that has been posted as a magnet link. So you can actually download this as a torrent link where it's going to be roughly around 261 GB, which is absolutely nuts. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be going on the, over this model a little bit briefly, showcase how you can get started, how you can install it, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Mistral AX22B model. This is a new MOE model by Mistral AI and approximately has 176 billion parameters with 40 billion active parameters at any given time. It has an impressive context length of 65k tokens, which will allow you to process and reference a large amount of text. Now, the base model could be fine-tuned for specific tasks as well as domains, so that's that's really useful. It requires around 260 GB of VRAM for inference in a 16-bit precision or a 73 GB in in, in a INT4 quantized precision model. Now it's something that is under the Apache 2.0 open source license. So you can see that this will be a model that is fully accessible for anyone and for mostly any use case. Now you're gonna be able to access this using LM Studios currently. You can actually go to the model card, which is provided by the Mistral community. You can copy this, you can go to LM Studio and you can simply install this. I have a video on LM Studio and I'll leave this link in the description below. Another efficient way to run this model is using VLLM. So definitely take a look at these two solutions to install this locally. Now, if you want a benchmark, you can take a look at the language model evaluation harness, which will give you a good reference. Now, currently there's no evaluation, but apparently there's a couple people in the community that have been trying this out. The first AGI eval results for Mistral AI, which is the new model, and they're destroying all open source models in the base model category. So if you have to take a look at this, the AGI eval is a zero shot base model evaluation metric. And we can see in various categories such as math, yeah, reasoning, English, as well as other languages, it actually performs outperforms all these other models such as Quen 72B, you have Mistral's original model, as well as the base Mistral 7B model. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now guys, on Hugging Face, there is a community forums for Mistral's community, and they have been posting a lot of different evaluation metrics that people have been doing on their own. Now, I would take this with a grain of salt, but it would give you a rough estimate as to how this is performing. So we can see that with Mistral's 8x22 base model, which is the new model, it actually does a great job in comparison to these other base open source models. In comparison to the other models such as GPT-4, as well as GPT-3.5, Claude 3 as well as the Gemini models you can see that it is relatively in comparison with these other models and at times it even outperforms these other smaller models of these two institutions such as Gemini or Google as well as Anthropic and it's just great to see but take like just again take this with a grain of salt this is not official and there could be a lot of errors with these metrics now if you're really interested in trying this out before installing it obviously you would need to have the right RAM as well as the computer on this. But if you want to just simply try it out on the cloud, you can actually do so with together.ai. You can create an account, you can go to their model list and you can actually try this new AX22B, which is kind of expensive per a million tokens. 
it's a dollar and 20 cents you can click on this you can open it up and you can start chatting with it this is a great way for you to get a good experience as to how it basically works and how it functions if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services where i can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with ai definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below now just take a look at this twitter post by this user and he basically said that he was actually able to successfully run the mistral ax22 model using the hugging phase transformer library and this is with a powerful dgx system with four nvidia 800 gpus each with 80 gb of vram and cpu offloading which is absolutely insane to me now he basically was able to get this running and this is with the sufficient memory obviously with this much you're going to be able to run this and with the cpu offloading being utilized which is likely involving offloading some of the model's computation to the cpu to reduce the gpu's memory usage it's just super extensive and obviously i want to recommend trying this out locally unless if you have have the compute but we can see that running such a massive model like this requires significant computational resources as well as the dgx system with four 800 gpus as well as cpu offloading which is probably like very very expensive and it's something that is possible but it's smarter to just have it ran through possibly something like a cloud computational service uh, such as like hyperstack run pod you have lambda all of them are great options so definitely check that out if you're interested in running something like this on the cloud now from the preliminary results that we have been seeing from the community forums as well as just simply seeing different like people chatting on twitter about it i truly see that this is quite remarkable as to what people have been already been able to generate or see based off of what this model is able to do now if you're interested i'll leave all these links in the description below this is just a short little video informing you that mistral ai has been releasing this new model once there is more information i'm definitely going to be releasing more videos on this because this is truly going to be a groundbreaking revolutionary model that will be pushing the open source field even further in this ai space so with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you check out our previous videos if you haven't already make sure you follow us on the patreon page it's a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow us on twitter another way to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity stay safe out there i'll see you guys fairly soon peace out fellas